Welcome back to Countdown to Kickoff as Indiana State and Youngstown State getting ready here on homecoming. And one of the key players for Indiana State defensively this year has been the impact of a true freshman, Rylan Cole. Rylan is our guest from Mount Vernon High School. Ryan, one, appreciate the time, man. For you, what's this whirlwind of a year been like? You're actually a true freshman. It's hard in the COVID years to remember exactly where guys are at. But this is your true freshman year, and you've been able to make an impact so far. Yes, sir. It's been awesome. Really just came into a great coaching staff, couldn't have picked a better place to come, and really just have a bunch of leaders in my safety room who really helped me through this whole process, through this crazy year. And, yeah, I couldn't thank all of them enough, and I wouldn't be the place I am with all the, without all the great leaders that we have. When you think of being able to actually play football last year, uh, which is something that none of us really got to experience in Terre Haute, what was the experience like uh, to be playing football during the course of a pandemic and a fall that I'm sure was unlike any other that you've experienced? Right. It was definitely super crazy. We had to play every game like it could be our last. You never know if the team could end up getting quarantined, and especially when we got around sectional time. It was like one COVID case and we're shut down and our season's over. So each week we just had to play it like it was our last one ever. And that really helped us, and it was awesome. When you think of your time at Mount Vernon, what do you cherish the most? And I know you kind of took over for your brother uh, when he got hurt early on in your career there. Uh, just some of the memories that you really kind of hold on to and that you can feel here in Terre Haute are helping you uh, in, your, in your current days here. It was awesome. My freshman year, yeah, I got the opportunity to be on the field, and that really helped me a lot. I was playing with my brother, who was that was one of the best experiences right, on, of my boy. life. Turn and then up, a baby, new coaching staff up. came in, Let's Coach Kirshner, and he really yeah. is one of the main reasons that I come here right now, and he really prepared me for the next level. And all just I've learned so much from him and continue to keep learning stuff now, and I could really thank him a lot for where I am today. When you first set foot on campus here in July when you got dropped off for camp, what was going through Ryan Cole's mind as you're getting ready for fall camp? Right, yeah, we came in right before fall camp, and it was definitely a lot. Just had to learn a whole entire playbook. But Coach Wilson did an amazing job explaining it, and the older guys in the safety room, like Mike Thomas, really impacted me and really helped me learn that playbook more and more and just kept getting reps in practice and really just mental reps were huge and really just taking advantage of all the opportunities I got on the field. The safeties room and the corner room are really deep. So you are a guy though that was still getting brought up in fall camp of man, have you seen what Ryland Cole is doing? What do you feel has gotten you in a position, Ryland, to be able to make an impact? And also for you, even though you're a freshman, to know that when you step out in the field, you have that confidence because it's clear that you do play with a lot of confidence. Thank you. Yeah, um, it was definitely in the recruiting process. I remember Coach Mallory always saying, like, don't come in here just expecting to get redshirted because usually you would have came in in the summer and stuff, but we came in in the fall. And he said, don't expect to get redshirted, like expect to be on the field. So I really prepared to make an impact on the team. And like during that whole summer, just I had a great like training staff around me and really pushed me to get my body in the right condition and everything and help me prepare me to be on the field. There's been a lot of athletes in your family, but you're the first one to be able to make it uh, in terms of the collegiate level and being able to play at the D1 level. One, how special is that? But two, also how much do you got to give credit to others in your family to help get you to this point? Yeah, I couldn't thank my family enough. Always taking me to practice, taking me home and everything, and really just pushing me to be the best person I can be. No matter what, if it was a bad game, good game, they were always supporting me and they still continue to drive an hour and 30 minutes even at the beginning of the season when I wasn't on the field as much just to come support me and I really couldn't thank them enough for everything they've done. What's been the biggest learning curve for you in terms of being able to get out there and play and uh, how it's been a challenge for you when you have gotten out there? Um, it's definitely the biggest jump was I'm uh, in high school I got an opportunity to play both sides of the ball so now I was just playing safety so I just have to focus on safety and just like really just know that I have 10 other guys on the field, so I have to just do my job. I don't have to worry about doing any other job. Just really focus on my job and let other people make plays. And yeah, that's been awesome. And just the play speed's definitely a lot different and still adjusting to that. And yeah. You talk about adjusting the speed. Once again, Ryland Cole is our guest here on Countdown to Kickoff as Indiana State is getting ready for Youngstown State here today at Memorial Stadium. Uh, Rylan, this is a team that Coach Mallory even says, I'm more encouraged than I am discouraged. Even though you guys aren't necessarily maybe getting the wins that you want right now, you're still really encouraged with what you do week by week. How do you guys as a team, how do you guys as a player, for you specifically, 
how do you guys feel about how you guys are going week by week? Um, yeah, there's, it's definitely been going good. Definitely just everyone needs to just stay together, stay together as a team, not separate. Like, don't worry about what the offense is doing, the defense is doing. Just worry about the whole team as like a just collective group and really just stay together and keep playing and just trust everyone on the team. And yeah. How frustrating is it? And I hate to put a word, uh, a word in your head already before I ask the question, but where you guys have games like last weekend where you're in it. Um, and it's just that small little spurt that kind of gets away, which was sort of resemblance of the South Dakota game, where you know this is a really good league, you're going to play really good teams, but is it more frustrating when you get on that bus at the end of the day and you felt like, man, we were really kind of the team that was in our way? Yeah, definitely, and that's one step we have to take in like, following like in the next couple of weeks. We just have to fight through that adversity. like Even like in the special teams, like that happens, but the defense just has to get out there and play and really fight through adversity and just make our situation different. And that's one thing that we're still learning and all of us are definitely gonna just step up and hopefully not be in that situation again. What's the biggest thing you want to try to do to bring to the defense today here against Youngstown? Also to do what you just said, to really play that next play mentality and to put what has happened in the past and move forward. Yeah, definitely. I'm the youngest guy on the field and I just don't want uh, people to look at me like that. I want to be like still vocal. I want to be one of the leaders on the defense, and definitely just make sure every like just play my role and not try to do too much, and just do my job, and everyone else will work around it. This may, in essence, seem like a really silly question, but how close do you feel you guys are to getting to where you ultimately want to get? As of now, um, I would say we're not the closest. We still have a lot of work to do, but definitely the team's coming together. And our offense has been looking a lot better. The defense needs to clean up a couple things and everything. But, yeah, um, our main goal is to make it to the playoffs. And we're still striding to that, and we can still do that. We just got to clean up some things, and we're on the right track. Rylan, I appreciate the time. It's been great to see and watch you play this year. And you, do, you don't look like a true freshman out there. Uh, and I know you've really enjoyed uh, your time here at this point. Thanks so much for the time and look forward to seeing you play Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Once again, that was Rylan Cole, our guest here for our Sycamore Spotlight. We'll be back with more here on Countdown the Kickoff when we return. This is Indiana State Football. <laughs>